Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Awesome God is. May his name alone be praised. May his name alone be exalted. May his name alone be lifted up high. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Jehovah Nisi. You are the pillar that holds my life. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Awesome God is the mighty one of war, the omnipotent God, the omniscience God is. He is the ancient of days, the consuming fire. He is the God that neither sleep nor slumber. The mighty one of war, the holy one of Israel. Father, we appreciate you for this opportunity. Lord, we say thank you for this privilege to share your word this evening. You are welcome. God bless you. God bless you. Today is another wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus. Another awesome moment in his presence. Malaga do shata lebrazo. Please, as you join me this evening, kindly share the video. And the name of the Lord be praised in your life. You are blessed. You are lifted. God bless you. God bless you. Kalabra da shada la balagadosha. I'm very, very happy to be with you today. May the name of the Lord be praised in your life. Today's topic says the will of God. Hallelujah. We are going to be looking into the topic which says the will of God for our lives. The will of God for our lives. Male Grozogodo. This has been some kind of confusion. Many people do ask, what is the will of God for my life? Hallelujah. They really want to know what is the will of God for their life. Glory to God in the highest. The will of God for our lives is what we are going to be looking into today. Please, as you join me, kindly share the video. And the name of the Lord be praised in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, lover of my soul. Jesus. I will never let you go. Taking me yeah, from the Mary clay. Yeah. Set my feet upon the rock. And now I know. I love you. I need you. Though my walls may fall, I never let you go. My Savior, my closest friend, I will love you always till the very end. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Thank you for joining me this evening. May the name of the Lord be praised in your life. Jesus Christ is the love is the lover of our souls. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are the lover of my soul. Jesus, I will never let you go. Taking me yeah, from the Mary Clay. Yeah. Set my feet upon the rock, and now I know I love you, I need you. Though my walls may fall, I never let you go. My Savior, my closest friend, I will love you, Lord, till the very end. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Today's topic says the will of God. Let us open our Bible this evening. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. I celebrate everyone. Before we go on, let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this great opportunity to share your word this evening. 
to hear your word this evening. Lord, may your name alone be exalted. May your name alone be lifted up high. Lord, touch my tongue with your call of fire. Let your word that will come out of my mouth. Let it bring divine healing, divine breakthrough, divine restoration, divine settlement, divine deliverance. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed. And you alone, Abba Father, take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the adoration. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You are welcome to another wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus. Boldness in Christ Jesus is every Saturday. 6 p.m. UK time, 6 p.m. Nigeria time, 7 p.m. Uh, 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 Europe, uh, Spanish time, uh, I think 8 or 7 p.m. South Africa time too, 1 p.m. New York time. I'm so sorry, I've not been around for two weeks now. In fact, I just came back from work less than one hour ago and I said the word of God must be preached. Glory to God in the air. Let us open our Bible this evening to Matthew 26 verse verse 39 i just want to read a place there just that one verse glory to god please as you join me this evening kindly share the video and the name of the lord will be praised in your life matthew 26 verse 39 i'm not going to take much of your time today because many of us we have not slept uh, all this while because of the all night and some of us just came we are, we are just back from work now hallelujah matthew 26 verse 39 Glory to God. I celebrate you, woman of God. I celebrate you, Evangelist Atrata. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. And the word of God says, He said, And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Many things that is, I, 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 there's something I wrote down here. I said many mistakes that we have made in life is because we walk out of the will of God for our lives. Many wrong decisions that we took, that, 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 that maybe we are, we are now going through that is now leading to maybe some kind of repercussion today is because we walk out of the will of God for our lives. Glory to God. From where we read, this was Jesus Christ praying. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, when I was meditating on this message, I was like, just imagine if the will that Jesus was praying for at that moment when he said, ah, uh, if it's possible for this cup to pass over him. Imagine if it really happened. Imagine if that will that Jesus asked for, that Jesus had in his heart at that very moment. Imagine if that will came to pass, what would have happened to us? What would have happened to us? Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. That is how it is when we walk out of the will of God. We should acknowledge the fact that there is a consequences. We should acknowledge the fact that there is there are people that will suffer because of it. We should acknowledge the fact that there are people that will go through issues because of it. I always say this on Facebook live over and over again. You are not just here on earth alone for one for just for yourself. There are so many destinies that are tied to your destiny. That is why God brought you yet for his own purpose to use you as a channel to reach out to others just imagine the prayer jesus prayed the bible says he went further according to matthew 26 verse 39 is the bible says he went further and pray lord let this cup pass over him but he said not his will but your will be done hallelujah that is what the bible said uh this the spirit the body the spirit is willing but the flesh the flesh is what is weak Many things that is happening today, many of many people have deviated from the will of God. What is exactly the will of God for our life? The will of God for our life is to love God, to serve God, to glorify God, to walk in His way, to win souls for His kingdom, to do things that has to do with His kingdom. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. That is the will of God for our life. He, he said, before you entered your mother's womb, I knew thee. And He has set you apart for His own will, for His own purpose. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. 
the earth time we acknowledge the fact that is not what we want what we need what we what what we uh what we uh we we always want or whatever but it should be what is god saying what is the will of god for our life what is that thing that god wants us to do what is that thing that god wants us to focus on what is that thing what is god expecting from us listen to me my brothers and sisters before he brought you to this world he has already inculcated in you all the potentials that you need everything that you need to be able to, to do his will is already inside you hallelujah to jesus christ i wrote some few things that i would like to touch uh in this in, in with, within few minutes that i'm going to go offline this evening i said if you look at what the bible said in ephesians chapter 6 from verse 5 to 7 the bible was making us to understand he said that we should do what the will of god doing the will of god from our hearts doing the will of god from our hearts with good service not to to please men but to please the lord if you look inside the church today many many people they whatever they do inside the church today is just for eye service but look at what the bible is saying efficient it said we should do everything to please god not to please man not because we want to do eye service hallelujah to jesus christ if you look at what the bible makes us to understand in psalm 119 verse 105 i'm going to list some certain things down but i just this one just came up now he said your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path what is the only way you can know the will of god for your life is by having passion for the word of god reading the word of god assimilating the word of god it making sure that you you gather as much of the word of god that you can assimilate inside you always reading the word of god we guide you we make you to know his will always pray we make you to know his will for your life always uh listening to the voice of the holy spirit we make you to know the will of god for your life because a lot of people always ask what is the will of god for my life what is the will of god for my life you will know the will of god for your life when you are conversant with his word because his word is true his word is life his word is will like what where i just quoted in psalm 119 verse 1 was, he said the word of the lord is what a lamp unto our feet a light unto our path which means when you are uh, have passion for the word of god when the word of god is always part of you when you're always reading the word of god you will begin to have directions you will begin to have directions many mistakes that we have made in life today is because we did not follow the will of god for our lives it's because we did not uh, allow the word of god to, to 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 be inculcated inside us to be able to for us to be able to know the right path to take hallelujah to jesus christ from where we read the bible said jesus when he found out the what he was going to go through the pains he was going to go through. Listen, you know, I always say something on Facebook Live that whatever we are going through in life is nothing but a stepping stone to our greatness. Many of us today have deviated from the will of God because of the, the castigation of men, because of the uh, criticism of men, because of what men we say, because of what men we do to us, because of how men we treat us forgetting what about the god the almighty god that created you and those fellow human beings that you are afraid of hallelujah to jesus christ look at what the word of god makes us to understand in romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 he said we should renew our mind hallelujah renew our mind you know when you are uh, when you when you uh, uh, listen eh, i've said this i think some time ago on facebook live i say why not deviate six months just or uh, three months three or six months this three or six months just make sure that you grow your passion for the word of god you're always praying you're always fasting you're always reading the word of god you're always uh listening to what the the, the, the guidelines of the holy spirit just do it for three or six months you will see a great change in your life i bet you 
Because God will never, the Holy Spirit will never guide you wrongly. The word of God will never guide you wrongly. You being prayerful is a way of you activating your spirit man to be at a lot in the spirit. Because the spiritual controls the physical. Just do this for three months or maximum six months and see the mighty turnaround that will happen in your life. Many of us have deviated because we are, we, some of us will now feel maybe, ah, is it not the only but I've read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Why should I? Listen, the more you read the word of God, the more revelation you get. It's just like what I said in church some time ago. That um, John 3, 16. If you give that John 3, 16 to 20 ministers of God, to 20 brothers or to 20 sisters, and they go and read that place and tell them, uh, come write a message on it. If those 20 listen to the word, to the voice of the Holy Spirit, I bet you they will come out with 20 different messages. 20 different messages from that same John 3, 16. That we at the end also wrap up leading everybody to Christ. So that you oh, you know you have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, maybe two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Doesn't mean that you don't have to read it anymore. No. The more you read the word of God, the more you get revelation from the word. You know that there are some like me, there are some Bible verses that I've read. Sometimes when I just read, I'm like, click. There was something that I did not get the other time that I read that place. That, and immediately I would just read it. I would just catch a revelation. Sometimes I would just be starting, hey, hey, hey. I would just be, I, sometimes I would just be, be running around in my, in, my, in, in, in my room. Just that revelation. And this was a place that I've read oh, maybe over and over again. I didn't catch that revelation at that very moment. That is why the word of God is the only way, is another way that we can know the will of God for our lives. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Prayer, when you are praying, you know, prayer is a communicate is a communication with God. When you are praying, you are communicating with God. When you are praying, you are you are like it's like you are just all alone with God. Why won't you hear from God? Why won't you get direction? The issue is that we always take decisions before we remember God. The issue is that we always take decision before we remember that, ah, what is God saying about this decision that I'm about to take? Have you ever, can, do you know that anytime you take a decision and God is involved in it, no, but one thing that you will know that God is involved in it is peace. You will get a kind of peace. It's The Bible says the peace of the Lord that passes all understanding. Let it dwell in us. When you, when that thing that you want to do, God is involved, is the will of God, you will feel inner peace. You will not be restless. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Glory to God in the highest. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I just came out here to share a little exhortation with us. Because I know some of us have not slept throughout the whole night because of the all night and some of us just came, I just came back from work, not even up to one hour ago. Glory to God. But the will of God, for, uh, what I, the, the little exhortation I came out to share with you this evening is that the will of God for your life is the only solution to every issues of life. The will, following the will of God for your life is the, is the only way that you can get to that position that God has destined your life to, to share, that God has destined for your life. The will of God for your life, he said, eyes have not seen it, neither ears have heard him, neither has it come to the understanding of me what the Lord has in stock for those that love him. When you love God, you are equally, you will end up doing his will. When you always glorify God, you will end up doing his will. When you always praising God, you will end up doing his will. When everything about you is all about God, you will end up doing his will. You will find out that the will of God will come to manifestation in your life. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. This is our one day Christianity, two days off. One day Christianity, five days off. Is it, is it in line with the will of God for our lives? No. It's just like you eating today and say you will not eat seven days time. When you are fasting, it's different. Maybe you just say, I will eat today, I will not eat tomorrow, I will not eat next tomorrow. Not that you are fasting. 
It's just, can, can you can you do it? That is how it is. When you just feel you pray today, tomorrow you don't need to pray, next tomorrow you don't have to pray, or you read the word of God today, you feel you don't have to read the word of God again, maybe next tomorrow or whatever. You allow things to occupy your mind. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. The will of God for our lives is for us to follow his guidelines over our lives. Sorry for that intrude. My kids just came in. Hallelujah. The will of God for our lives is for us to follow the direction that he has, uh, that he has outlined for our lives. Look at the will of God for Jesus Christ was for him to come to die for you and I, to bring us back to God. You can see, that is why I always say that, everybody, there is, there is people, people destiny are tied to your destiny. The will of God for, uh, for the for coming of Jesus Christ to this earth, was to come and die, to redeem us from the kingdom of darkness, into his marvelous light. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Likewise, the will of God for your life is to go through you to reach out to people. The will of God over your life is to go through you to touch lives, to win, to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and populate his kingdom. The will of God for your life is to use you as his tool. The Bible makes us to understand. He said we are his workmanship. It's to use you to reach out to the world. Is to use you to touch lives. Is to use you to express his love to people. Is to use you to express his care to humanity. God will not come down and say, here I am, I am God. God is going to go, he, that is why he brought you here. To go through you, to touch lives. To go through you, to change lives. To go through you to, to bring people out of the kingdom of darkness. To save souls. To win souls into his kingdom. You are not just here on earth just to just for your own uh, a selfish aim. No. We all are here for the will of God to come to manifestation. That was why he created us. He created us for his own purpose. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. So this little exhortation is just, I want each and every one of us to go and sit down and meditate. What exactly is the will of God for my life? Am I in line with the will of God over my life? What exactly, why did God bring me? That is why I preached a message some time ago. Who am I? Why am I here on earth? You are not just here to eat, drink, sleep, wake up, marry, have children, and that's all. No, no. That's not just, that, that, those are just, but that is why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added unto it. You can see the first is to seek the kingdom of God and that is the will of God for our lives. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. May the name of the Lord be praised in your life. May his name alone be exalted in your life. May his name alone be lifted up high in your life. Today's boldness in Christ Jesus topic says the will of God. Hallelujah, the will of God for our lives. Why are we here on earth? The purpose God brought us here is not just to eat, sleep, to go to work, to make money. Don't know. It's for his own purpose, for his own use. That is it. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you all for joining me this evening. I told you I'm not I'm just here to share a little exhortation because I know many of us. We didn't sleep throughout the whole night. And some of us, I said this from the beginning, I just came back from what, not less than one hour ago. Many of us have not even laid our, our head to sleep so that we can be able to build up ourselves again, gather energy again for tomorrow's Sunday service. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. We're going to pray one prayer point. But before we pray, if you know you have not given your life to Christ, pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. With my heart, I believe that you died on the cross of Calvary for my sake. And with my mouth, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. You are welcome to the body of Christ. And please, you have to grow. Remember, the word of God says, do not forsake the gathering of the brethren. Don't listen to all these people on, on social media. Always say, you don't have to go to church. Your, your heart is church. You don't know. The Bible said, do not forsake the gathering of the brethren. I've always been saying this. There is what we call... um. Uh, there's what we call uh, uh, 
uh, is a kind of prayer when, when two people or three people or four or five will come to, come together and pray over an issue. Corporate, corporate prayers. You can't do that in your house. Yes, you can follow each and every one of us on Facebook Live or social media or whatever, but you still have to go to church. If they were not in church, will you see them to follow on social media? No. It's because they are in church. That is why you can follow them on social media. So you too also be a partaker. You can follow anybody on social media, but also go to church. There is a great difference, I tell you this. There is a great difference. What about if there is a call of God upon your life to be a singer and you are at home? If there is a call of God upon you, you know, everybody thinks when there is a call of God upon one's life, it means you must be behind the pulpit. No. Some people are called to be an usher. Some people are called to be a Sunday school teacher. Some people are called to be a... Uh, to be children teachers. Some people are called to be in the choir. Some people are called to, to be a, a sanctuary cleaners. Some people are called to be a protocol. Some people are called to, be, to, to become preachers. You know, the, God called everybody. That is why there are so many mix-up today. Where, which area God for call you? So you can see that is why it's very important you go to church. Because he brought you here for his own will. For, for, for you to manifest that his will over your life. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Go to a Bible-believing church so that you can grow. And for those that their love for Christ have was could I pray for you this evening. But before I pray for you, always remember, I always say this on Facebook Live. Serve God because you love God, not because of what you need or one prayer point or because of what you want. No, always serve God because you love God. But I pray for you this evening. Whatever it is that is making the love for Christ to wash cold in your life, whatever it is that is fighting your Christianity, I pray that God should intervene. I pray for God to put an answer to every question mark in your life. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord for this little exhortation that you have heard this evening. Father Lord, we appreciate you, we honor you, we magnify your name. We adore you, O oh Lord, for you alone is worthy. There is none like thee, Abba Father. There is none to be compelled to you. May your name alone be exalted. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed. Say, my Father, my fighter, as I begin to pray, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let your will manifest in my life in a higher dimension like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray. Let the will of God come to manifestation in your life. Whatever that is fighting the manifestation of the will of God in your life, let the fire of God, the thunder of God locate that power. Wherever it's being orchestrated from, from the witch Krakow, from the occultic world, from the marine kingdom, from any native doctor shrine, from any evil altar, from any ancestral altar, from any strong man, from any strong woman, let the fire of God locate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Is it any personality in your life that the kingdom of darkness have assigned to make sure that the will of God will not come to manifestation in your life? We pray for divine suppression in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to cry to God. Let his will come to manifestation in your life in a higher dimension like never before. Rakata shakata la balagadosha, eria ragazondo buscande le kanamashata, i kalabalagazondo brakata shata. Lord, we cry unto you this evening. Holy Spirit of the Living God, be our guide, order our steps, Lord. Malege zondo libra dosha. Lord, let your will come to manifestation in our life. Not our will, oh Lord, but your will be done in our lives. Malagadosha talabalagadosha, lige zondo makande libra Gadosha, Malega Donske de Libra Gazondo, Ikatosha Tale Bragado, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the will of God come to manifestation in your life in a higher dimension like never before. In the name of Jesus. Father, we appreciate you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this privilege. May your name alone be exalted. May your name alone be lifted up high. Above every other name in our lives and destiny. In the name of Jesus. Lord, only your will, let your will come to manifestation. Let your will always supersede our will. Let your will always supersede the will of men in our life. Let your will always overcome any kind of will of the kingdom of darkness that they want to inculcate into our head. Lord, let your will manifest like never before. And all always in our lives for in jesus christ mighty name we are praying amen thank you all for joining me boldness in christ jesus is every saturday 6 p.m our uk 
uh, Nigeria time, 7 p.m. Uh, uh, Europe and Spanish time, and I think 7 p.m. too in South Africa and in Kenya. Hallelujah. And 1, 1 p.m. in New York time. Till I come your way again next week, Saturday, I celebrate everyone, evangelist uh, Jerry Osas, a woman. I celebrate you, sir. Thank you for joining. Father Fran uh, Francisco, I celebrate you. Thank you for joining. Please, if I didn't mention your name, God knows your name. Him alone with him alone with alone be glorified in your life in the name of jesus uh uh, uh prophet ot oh michael i celebrate you man of god may the name of the lord be praised in your life in the name of jesus ever as a uh, woman of god evangelist attractor i celebrate you woman of god thank you for joining please if you have not shared this video kindly share this video and the name of the lord be praised in your life till i come your way again next week saturday god bless you jesus loves you so do i shalom